Hi and welcome to a iMovie 2.0 tutorial for beginners. I'll try and cover as much as I can, but uh, if I miss a few things, check out the description. I'll put a link in there to uh, Apple's tutorial site for uh, iMovie 2.0. Now let's get started. Across the top of the screen, you'll see three choices, video, projects, and theater. Uh, theater is basically the iCloud way of sharing your clips, movies, and trailers. For instance, watching on your Apple TV. Uh, what we're going to focus on though in this tutorial is creating projects and actually editing video. Speaking of video, if we tap the video choice, you will see all the clips that are on your iPad that you've recorded. Now, I was out earlier today and made some, some clips and some recordings of myself and my cats and my fish. Uh, so they're all on here. And one of them up here you can see is marked with a green line. That's because when you go in and preview clips, and I'll just watch this one, and I'll just watch it right through, as, as hideous as it is. I can stop at any time by tapping on the screen. I can press the, uh, I can tap the heart on the right side to favorite it. Now notice the green line went away. And if you tap it again, the green line will appear. And that's just a, a convenient way of marking a clip for when we go into the project later. It makes it easier to find. Notice that we can also split, speed up these clips if we want. So it'll go at two times speed, or we can slow it down using the, the turtle. Pretty obvious. Now that we know how to view our clips, let's get started with a project. So I'm going to tap the projects at the top of the screen, and then I'm going to tap the crosshairs and create a new project. Now you can choose to make a movie trailer. And I'll just go into the movie trailers for a second. And Apple's got some very cool templates here, including a, a new one called Family. Just check them out. They're very, very cool. But I'm not going to do a trailer right now. What I'm going to do is a traditional movie. So I'm going to start over and choose Movie instead of Trailer. And again, Apple here has made some very neat templates. And by templates, I mean that they just include some backgrounds and particular fonts and colors that might suit something, let's say a travel video or a news report. But I'm going to choose simple because it's the most basic, the template. So I'm going to tap create movie in the top right. And that brings us to our editing suite here within iMovie. Uh, on the top right, I've got our clip bin where all of our, all my movie clips are. The left, top left is the preview window. Nothing there right now. You'll see clips of uh, my, the, the, your movie being built in action in the preview window. And at the bottom is the timeline. Now, if we want to get started, we, not, we want to add stuff to the timeline. So what I'll do is just uh, double tap this video that now, notice that green line on there, that's the one I marked as a favorite. So we'll double tap it and voila, it's in my timeline. So I'm already starting to, to build my movie and I can press play to watch it in action and, and pause it whenever I want. Now, don't worry if you want to get rid of a clip. There's a couple of ways you can do that. You can tap a clip to select it. And you'll notice there's a trash can in the bottom right hand corner. That'll work to get rid of it. Or you can just tap and hold on any clip and flick it away with your finger and it'll disappear in a cloud of smoke. So another way to add a clip to the uh, timeline is if you select it in the top uh, right of the, the clip bin and then press the uh, downward pointing arrow, that'll also add a clip to your timeline. So that's how you add clips and remove clips. Now you can add to the front or the back of your clip uh, by selecting another clip. So if I go to my clip bin here and then let's say I'll add my uh, a clip of my cat, I'll just double tap that. Now we have two clips in my movie and notice that um, iMovie defaults to a, a really nice transition that blends from one clip to the other. I'll show you how you can change that uh, later. But right now, let's focus on adding the clips. Now, suppose that I wanted my, my cat to be at the front. Well, that's pretty easy. I can just take it and drag it with my finger and drop it. Now it's at the front. Or I can take it and drag it and bring it to the back. Oops, I accidentally deleted it. Let's put him, put him back. That's the beauty of this. Anything that you do in the timeline, you're not 
deleting your movie from your iPad. Don't worry. All it is is happening in the timeline. You haven't actually deleted the footage. Right now you're just playing with your, your footage. So it's not a big deal if you were accidentally deleted from the timeline. You can just re-add it in. Now suppose we want to add something to the middle of a clip. There are several ways that we can do that. One is that, let's say that I want to add um, something right in this position right here. So I'll tap my clip and then at the bottom of the screen I can choose split. Now that has split this clip. You can't tell anything right now, but it has created a space. And there I can insert another clip. So now my clip goes from me running across the yard to my cat and then back to me in the yard. Now if I change my mind and I don't want that again, I can just delete it. But note that there's also on the right hand side of the screen an undo button. So I can tap the undo button and that gets rid of the, the clip that I added. I can click tap undo again and it gets rid of the split that I created. There are some other interesting ways to add clips now in this new uh, iMovie 2.0. If for instance, I want to add a clip of my fish uh, by tapping once, but then notice there's a, uh, a dot dot dot. If we tap that, it exposes some other choices. One is to layer a one clip right on top of the other. Another ch choice right here is picture in picture. So I tap that one and what it does is creates a picture in picture. So there's my fish pond. But in my preview window, you can see how it occurs as a picture inside of a picture. Now, if it, it's kind of blocking my shoulder there. So if I want to adjust that, just tap the, the clip. That's the picture in picture clip. And then in the preview window, you'll see a little crosshairs um, come up. Tap that, and it says drag to position, pinch to resize. So I can drag that clip right in the preview window to where I want it. And I can use my fingers to pinch or expand to make it bigger or smaller. So I'll make it smaller there and put it right there in the corner. And there, that's how easy it is to reposition and resize a clip. Uh, using picture in picture. Again, if you change your mind and you just want to get rid of a clip, don't forget you can always tap it, hold it, and then just brush it away and it disappears. One other interesting way you might add a clip, so we'll just tap that same fish clip again, and I'll tap the dot dot dot, and now I'll tap the, the furthest one on the right, and that's split screen. So what it actually does is create a split screen view. So there's me running on the left and my fish pond on the right. So you can create split screen movies. That's very, very cool. And again, easy to do. Now, again, I'm just gonna delete these, uh, this fish for now by tapping, tapping it, selecting it and wiping it away. Another interesting thing you can do is if we go back to our clip selections and again, we have tap that dot, 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 you'll notice there's a little audio symbol there with a plus on it. If I tap that, and this is kind of advanced stuff, so we'll just mention it and let you play with it later, is you can just add the audio from a clip to your timeline. So that's a neat way of separating audio and video of a particular clip. Uh, by pressing that button, you'll add only the audio of the clip to the timeline. A very, very uh, powerful little feature you can play with later. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is go back to some basics here. Suppose I go back to my main clip here and I want to change the length of this clip. Well, it's very easy to do. Just tap the clip and you'll notice that it highlights yellow and there's a yellow bar at the end. Put your finger right on the yellow bar and you can shrink the clip or expand it or shrink it. So there, that's how easy it is to shorten or, or lengthen a, a clip. Uh, I already showed you how to split a clip, but I didn't show you how to create a freeze frame. So if we wanted to, right there, create a freeze frame at that position, all you do is tap on the clip and at the bottom of the screen where it says freeze, tap freeze. And you have created, right there, a still picture in the middle of your, of your video. Now that's one way, for instance, you can extend a particular 
of a scene. Now we can treat this clip just like we do in any other clip, and we can extend, expand it or contract it. Um, we can do whatever we want with that clip. Or again, if we change our mind, we can just delete it. So that's really easy to create freeze frames. Now I promised we would look at this transition from clip to clip because as, as I walk towards the camera here and we go to my cat clip, when I added that clip, iMovie by default added a, a blend transition. Uh, we don't have to have that transit type of transition if we don't want to. Just tap with your finger right on that symbol uh, in between the two clips and you'll notice at the bottom of the screen some other choices come up. Now I'm not going to show them all to you but you can play with them. I'm going to tap, for instance, the um, transition from uh, top to bottom here. What I'll do is I'll, I'll let that play. And you can see the change in the clip from, now it goes from, from bottom to top. It just changes the nature of the transition. Another thing you can do is adjust the time of the transition. So I'll put it back, for instance, to the blend, then tap the arrows underneath. And what will happen is, is it'll show you a more in-depth way of controlling the transition and what you want to do is just adjust the blue bars and what that'll do is change the amount of of time of the blend during the transition and then when you're done just tap the uh, the yellow arrows again and the adjusted transition will be in effect now suppose i want my my cat video right here to or, or better yet let's choose my clip of me moving in the lawn Let's tap that clip and at the uh, bottom I can choose speed. And what I can do is I can actually s change the, the speed of the, uh, the movement in the video by just dragging from the turtle to the rabbit. So it's, it's fairly straightforward. That obviously is going to slow down the clip if I move it towards the turtle. So changing clip speed is really, really easy. Another thing you can do is you can title clips. So if this is something that I want to put a title on, I just select the clip and then at the bottom of the screen I choose title. Now what's a little weird is that no title appears on the screen because it defaults to none. If we look in the, on the bottom of the screen it says none. So what I'll do is I'll select opening, middle, and closing and you can see that title jumps around. And that's basically the title that you get with the simple theme. What I want to do is I, I want to investigate some different options for titles. So I'm going to leave it uh, as the middle choice here. And then I'm going to go to the right hand uh, bottom corner of the screen and tap the letter T. And you'll see some other very nice choices are previewed. Now I'm going to choose this uh, pop-up one because it's kind of uh, pretty. Then I'm going to change the actual text on the screen by tapping right in the preview window and it becomes editable. The uh, keyboard comes up so we can go on to our, our keyboard and I'll just type backyard. There we go and done and there we are we have that title appearing on the screen. So when I play you can see it's actually animated this is a very nice way to add titles to your to your movies. Now one other thing you might want to do is let's say I've got this um, cat clip here and I want to make a copy of it. I want uh, it to duplicate. Very easy, just in the bottom right of the screen, tap duplicate and now we've got two of that video. Now suppose that I want to add another cat photo in between these two duplicated cat clips. Well, we can do that. I'll just go into the top right hand corner of my screen, tap photos, and what it does is show you everything that's on your uh, camera roll on your iPad. So I'm just going to double tap the one I want, and it inserts it right at the playhead. So there is my other cat. Now it, it, you can see that the picture, the photo is moving across the screen, and that's because iPhoto defaults to a a Ken Burns effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap it and I'm going to adjust the uh, Ken Burns effect for this. I'm just going to reposition the starting position and then you tap right here to change the end position. So there I'm just going to blow it up a bit. And now we can see the effect of my adjusting 
that Ken Burns effect. We get a nice zooming in on my cat's face. Uh, what if you want to add audio to your clip? For instance, what if I want to tell you the name of my cat here in the video? Well, on the bottom of the screen, you can see a little microphone. At any time, you can tap that and it'll give you a little warning a countdown and then you'll be able to speak into your iPad and it'll record what you say. So you can actually add narrations. So I'll go ahead and do that. And what it does is it first gives you a animation of your levels. So you know, if you speak too loud, it'll go into uh, to the red. So get the proper distance from your iPad and then tap the record. This is my cat Spätzle. And then press stop. Do you want to accept that recording? And I'll say, uh, yes, I'll accept it. And now, when we play that back, this is my cat Spätzle. So again, it's very easy to add audio uh, through narration just by pressing the microphone button. Now, one more thing I'll point out in the top right hand corner, we see an audio button. And I'm not going to go through all of these examples of doing them, but you can play with these. There are lots of choices for adding theme music, recordings. Uh, you can add the songs from your iPad into your movie. Very easy to do. Just bring them up, tap them, and they'll show up in your timeline. Now to finish, let's say that we're done our video. So I'm going to move to the top left-hand corner of the screen, and I'm going to tap the little arrow. And the first thing I probably want to do is, is give my movie a name. So I'll just say backyard. There we go. Now a few things that we can do is if we press the play button, it's just going to start playing the video. We already know what that looks like. So we'll just leave that for now. In the middle is the share button. And we have a lot of different ways we can share this video. You can tap to add it to your iMovie theater, which is a, what I mentioned at the, the beginning of this video, a way to add it basically to your cloud and then easily watch it on your Apple TV. You can share it to Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo. You can email it. Uh, you can also save it just as a file on your iPad or add it to your iTunes library. Tons of different ways to save. If you add to press the trash can, of course, you're just going to delete it. And then the edit button at the bottom, well, it's just going to bring you right back to the editing screen so you can continue to play with and perfect your video. So that's it. I hope you liked this basics of iMovie. Uh, enjoy creating your videos on your iPad.